Hi, in Avoid 0.4, we've introduced building. And above the screen, you'll see four user interface elements, one, two, three, and four, which are bound to your number keys. And these change the tools that you've got available to you. So number four is the turrets. You can put one down that uh, we introduced in the last build. And we also have new for now, two, which is a series of blocks. And you can cycle through. This is a size one block. And you can cycle through to get a size three by three and then again put your two and you get a size six by six by six you can also delete and delete is with the right click so there i can make it delete and using the scroll wheel you can cycle forwards and backwards and when you delete it will collide with the geometry meaning that it will basically delete straight in front of you wherever you're pointing the mouse up to the distance that you've got set so building will not work if you're not looking in the direction uh, at which you have something that is uh, visible for instance if i'm looking down into the ground you can see that not only can i not see the um, green box showing me where i'm going to build but also you can see that the uh, icon in the middle of the screen the cursor grays out and the box also goes a slightly different color when you can see it so for example if i build here and then move further away uh, in certain areas there yeah, you can see that the the build tool changes color if i now switch to the the wall and floor tool this one's quite special so with the two build tool i'll change my size to a block now as i use my arrow what you'll see is that it's a fully three-dimensional tool moving in the direction i move my mouse at the distance that i have my mouse set so I can move it further away, um, up to the maximum distance of about 16 blocks. Or I can move it closer in to do something more detailed if I want to. But to make building really easy for us, uh, well, a moment, I'm just going to delete some of this material here. Take it out of my way. To make the building really useful in game, we found that there's a floor and wall tools. These are bound to the three key. And basically they're the same size, but in different axis directions. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna put down a floor. Having a strong floor can be important because creatures can come up from below, firing at you and drilling a hole and attacking you without you noticing that they're there. So making a strong floor can be very useful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna click and I'm gonna hold down. As I do so, it builds the floor and doesn't change the position along the two major axes um, sorry it allows you to change the position on the two major axes but it does not change the position on the minor axis the axis where it's one thick what this means is that that is now staying bound to what i think of in this case as the floor no matter you see there as i go over the bump it doesn't rise up also if i move my mouse around looking up and down it doesn't change its position in the vertical plane in what's my current vertical plane of course this is a void you have six degrees of freedom but if i now change to the wall sorry the wall don't give me wall in front i can use a similar thing to create a nice wall to block off one particular direction for me so again it's now bound as i'm holding the mouse down to the the plane with its major two axes so you can see that i even i can walk onto that use it now as the floor and i can enlarge it as i go there we go that can also be useful for a kind of silver surfer mode um, where you can just set it down as your floor and then off you go into the distance. Let's get back. Okay, so I'm about a, a floor and a wall. And of course I wanna put in a ceiling. So put myself out to uh, a decent height for that. And again, there you go. You can just, it just sticks there in that plane where you started off. And so long as you keep your mouse button down, it's not gonna change. Now, currently, all of the tools that we have only have one material set, and you also have no, uh, you won't run out of any resources. So this is all just basically infinite building as you go along. The only thing that will constrain you is um, just time. So that's Avoid 0.4, Introduction to the Building Tools. I hope you enjoyed. You can download it uh, for free or buy it online at avoid.com.